Hey everyone, this is Ryan, and today we're going to take a look at including a character count on a description field that will give us the amount of characters currently in use versus the maximum limit. So you'll see how we have our current character list uh, character count down here. And if we hit the maximum limit, you'll see that we change the color, the font weight, so that it's very apparent to the user that the limit has been reached. So the first thing you want to do is take a look at the length of the text area or text field that you want to uh, put a character count on. So if we look at our text description field here, you'll see that the maximum length is currently set to 2000 characters. Okay, so we'll have to keep that in mind when we're labeling the character count field. So what we will do is we'll go over and we'll add a new text field to our screen and we'll change around the font to about um, 11 and we're going to change around the label name to label character count and then from here what we'll do is we'll just increase the size and that should be that so what we want to do here now is up update the text property to include the character length of what's currently in the description field versus the maximum length of the field itself. So to do that, what we will do is we will concatenate. And what we will do here is find the text description field text. So we have that here, but what we need to do is find the length of it. So this is when you enter in len uh, function here, which is the length. And if you then put a comma, since we're using the concatenate function here, we will go and put 2000 characters. So you'll see how it automatically puts zero out of 2000 characters. Now, if we you know, go into our app and start typing, you will see that you know, we, we currently have it being counted correctly. So one of the issues that you do have is when you hit the limit of 2000 characters is not very noticeable to users. So if I go in and start to put in some random text here, you'll see that once we hit 2000 characters, you know, I, I get cut off, but it's not, you know, for users that are not very observant, they may not notice that they reach the limit. So what we can do here is we can update the color of the label and the font weight so that it just becomes more apparent that the limit has been reached. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our color property and right now it's just black. So what we will do is we're going to put an if condition in and we will pull in our text description and we're going to say that if it's the limit so 2000 characters we're going to put the color in red otherwise it will be black so you see that when we hit the limit here it's currently red so what we can also do is change around the font weight. So you have normal, semi-bold, bold. So what we can do here is go to the font weight and we just copied what we had previously. And all we have to do is swap this out and say font weight is, we're gonna put bold. Otherwise the font weight will be normal. Okay, so when we reach the maximum limit here, and if we take away one character, you will see how it goes from 1999 out of 2000 characters, and we type in the other the last character, and we hit our limit. And you can see that it's more apparent to the end user that they've reached the limit of the text box. So hopefully this will give you an idea of, um, you know, especially with users copying and pasting data, to notify them that they've reached the limit of the text box 
so that no data goes you know, missing when they happen to save their data to the database.